Good evening everyone. I've decided to make a PJ Saturday video with Dia and it's Friday evening. It's pretty late in the evening. It's like after seven. So I'm guessing that by the time this upload, it should be uploaded in time for Saturday. So she is going to wear this cute sleeper by Just One You. It's really cute. It's in pink and white stripe that has the cute little owl. Really nice. And it's also in long sleeve. And the matching pants that has like the cute little owl at the feet. Really cute. And she's also going to get a nice hot bottle. And I'm going to change her pampas into this cute pampas. It's by, it's the honest pampas have like the cute little, I don't know, it wants to look like bows and then it wants to look like butterfly. I'm guessing maybe butterflies. Very cute, very girly. Okay, so let me change Dia into that. So actually my daughter is out. She's spending the night out with the girls brigade group. And she was so excited. Uh, the group was supposed to meet for 6 p.m. And she was so excited. I mean, we were there and waiting from 5.30. We were out the house from 5 o'clock. And I stopped and picked her up some snacks. I can tell you we overdid it with the snacks. I picked up so much snacks for her. She got... Uh, she got water, juice, soda, cookies, chips, popcorn, peaches in the can, Campbell's chicken noodle soup, uh, Velvena sausage, crackers. Oh, uh, what else did she get? Candy. And these are just snacks because, you know, I'm guessing that the teacher will prepare like the evening meal and also breakfast for in the morning. So I didn't pack like any eggs or any of that type of thing or bread. Nothing like that. Just snacks. They did only ask for snacks. And I also gave her money, so I don't know what they intend to do. Yeah, so she also packed pizza. Her dad was away yesterday and he brought back pizza. So she had pizza and she wanted to carry uh, cheesecake. And I was like, no, uh, no cheesecake. I didn't want it to like maybe uh, smash in the bag, you know. So I said, no, don't carry any cake. And... Like I said, more than enough food and it's only overnight. She will be coming back home tomorrow uh, afternoon about three. And the teacher explained that they're going to be graded for uh, like how they handle themselves tonight. They're taking their bath and getting prepared for bed, waking up in the morning and making up their bed and yeah, so anyway she was so excited and I was excited for her you know saying that she doesn't have any company here I'm guessing it's gonna be really exciting for her to spend the night with the girls and you know do things together she took her tablet I wasn't happy about that but her dad said it was okay my thing is I don't like you know like toys or games anything that the kids really like I don't like them to travel with it especially if they're gonna be out with other kids interacting because it could get damaged and my thing is if it's at home it's safe so but anyway she insisted that she wanted to take it and her dad said yes so I said okay well who am I to complain so she took a tablet.
I packed underwears and sleeper uh, towel toilet tissue soap all that fun stuff <laughs> I was really excited for her actually you know growing up my sister and I we never did anything like that my mom would never allow that we wasn't allowed to really play outside my sister and I just sat to the front door you know watch the kids play that's it so we really didn't have any uh, we didn't do any fun stuff really So now what I decided to do, saying that my husband and I have the night to ourselves, I just decided to uh, to probably cook some steaks and so what we did earlier, my husband bought some nice fresh fish, but he is so particular about fish because even though it's grouper. Uh, sometimes the fishermen sell uh, rock fish as grouper and he's afraid that you know sometimes that fish can be poisoned so what he normally does now is he would like sample the fish just have a little piece and see how that works on his stomach overnight and if it you know if it if it doesn't make him sick if it's not poison then from that point on he will continue eating the fish so what I did is he asked me to fry up all the fish and he ate a piece of it today and I just put the fish in the fridge and tomorrow if he says it's okay then we'll have that fish to eat tomorrow along with all the other fish that he did purchase so that's what he does and um, I can tell you if he gets sick I will be sick too because as I was frying fish I was eating I can tell you that because nothing is better than fresh fish out of the ocean you season that in some like hot pepper with salt and lemon juice oh my goodness that is just the best fish ever so if he is poison then believe you me I will also be poison but you know fish is something that we really don't give our daughter like that we really don't like to take chances with her but um, in fact, if she eats fish, my husband insists on feeding it to her. Like he makes sure there's no bone in the fish, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh boy. So for tonight, what I decided to do is to take out some steaks. I'm going to saute some onions and mushrooms. And make some smothered steaks and pair that with... Um, pumpkin I'll make a salad and do boiled corn on the cob yeah that's what I'll do tonight and then we'll just watch a nice movie but I can tell you I miss my daughter already <laughs> yeah I do So tomorrow I'll pick her up after three and hopefully all just goes well. Everything should go well really. Okay dear. She's still asleep, I mean, not a care in the world. Good, that was fast. That was fast, baby girl.
brush you here a little. precious so that's it for dia for pj saturday all dressed and ready so now i'm going to take an early bath and just enjoy the evening with my hubby so that's it everybody thank you all so much for watching you have a great night. Bye-bye.